Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Happy Friday. Welcome to Peter's Movie Club, where every week I pick a nostalgic movie from my past and uh, we all watch it together. And then I also react to the movie that I picked from the previous week. Okay, so some administrative work before I get into this. First of all, as you know, all the movies that I pick over here are from the streaming app Tubi. The reason why I pick the streaming app Tubi is because it is a free streaming app. It is available in Mexico, Canada, the United States, and parts of Europe. It is going international. National. So it should be everywhere before long. Um, no, this is not sponsored by Tubi, but I love Tubi so much. I was actually talking to a friend of mine the other day, and she was telling me some movie that she watched. She's like, you've got to see this movie. And I said, where did you watch it? And she was like, on Tubi. And I was like, oh my God, you have Tubi as well? She's like, I love Tubi. She's like, Tubi has all the new shows. They have all the new TV. You know, they have everything. And I was like, I know I love Tubi too. And I said, I just cannot get people to like buy into Tubi. She's like, I know nobody knows about it, but I love Tubi so much. And um, so I, I picked that streaming app. A lot of the movies that I pick over here are available on other streaming apps, but, um, and some of them are even available on YouTube. But that's the reason why I picked Tubi was I wanted to make it as easily as accessible, as easily accessible to as many people as possible. So uh, now I know going forward into the holiday season, some of the movies that I'm picking are going to be specifically on YouTube, uh, but everybody should be able to watch those. So, um, okay, that's the first administrative thing, getting explaining what the movie club is. The second thing I want to talk about is, I kind of mentioned this last week, um, but I've been thinking more about it. Uh, I, you know, I know that there's not thousands of people that are watching the movies with me, but there's enough. Um, there's enough people that are watching. It's like every week whenever I announce the movie, throughout the weekend, I will get like DMs from people on Instagram or, you know, messages and people will like put up little screenshots and tag me in it on Instagram of them watching the movie and the people will be like, oh, my mom and I watch the movie every week with you or my husband and I, we watch the movie that you pick every week and we get really excited about whatever movie that you're announcing. So I know that there's some people out there that are watching it. Um, even if there's just one or two people out there watching it, I'm going to continue to do this. This is, ha this has been so fun for me. Um, movies have been a part of my life since I was very, very, you know, young and was a huge part of both being raised by my mom and my dad. Both my mom and my dad loved movies. And, you know, my aunt, my uncle, my uncle went to the movies like three times a week and uh, my uncle Dave, Caroline's dad. And so I've just, I've always loved movies. And so I, I'm going to continue to do this. I don't have any plan on stopping this. Um, but I have been thinking about maybe a different way to do this because some people are like, oh, I didn't watch the movie for this week. Can I still watch it next week. You can watch, you can watch a movie from February this week if you want to. There's no, you watch it whenever you want to watch it, you know? Um, and I kind of mentioned the last, I think the last video or maybe the video before that I was thinking about maybe just doing this once a month. And, um, a couple people said, I think in the comment section and one person DM'd me and said, please don't stop this. Like, I'm really enjoying it. You're introducing me to movies that I, I didn't know. Interestingly enough, um, the two weeks ago, the movie was The Lady in White, which was a very Halloween themed movie. And I had said in my reaction last week that I, it, I was not as taken with it as I remember being when I was younger watching it. And, um, that I just, I really liked like the first part of it. And a lot of people commented and they said, oh my God, I really liked the whole movie. It was like really good. It was a great mystery. Um, I was kind of surprised at that reaction that so many people really, really liked that movie. Um, so that was kind of fun for me to see different people's responses about it. But I, in, in the last week, I've kind of been thinking a lot about this. As you know, I have another channel that's completely dedicated to watching TV. I am doing some uh, movie reactions over there as well on my Peter Watches TV channel. Um, when a movie is streaming that I want to watch, I'll watch it, and then sometimes I react to it, sometimes I don't. So I'm keeping all the movie reviews over there except for the movie club over here. And so I've been thinking about it the last week because... The last couple days have been really, really rough. I did not watch the movie, uh, which was Still the Night, with Meryl Streep and Roy Scheider. I did not watch the movie this week because it's just the last couple days I haven't been able to, we've had a lot going on with our little dog, and I haven't been able to just, like, focus on watching a movie. So I've been, like, you know, piecing together a TV show, watching 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, and stuff like that. And so last night when I finally did get to relax a little bit, I was like, you know what? I'm not really in the mood to sit down and watch a, a full movie. Like, I want to watch a little bit of an episode here, an episode of that, and whatever. So I am going to watch it, though. I'm going to watch it this week, and then the next video that I make about this, I'm going to do my reaction to it. So what I decided to do for the, we the rest of October is that today I'm going to announce the last two movies. Uh, well, I think it's the last two movies of October. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's the last two movies, because the 31st of October, Halloween, Halloween. 
Halloween, spooky Halloween. Halloween is actually on Thursday this year. So we have today, which is the 18th, and then we have next Friday, which is the 25th. So today I'm going to announce the last two movies for October, which are very fall and Halloween themed. Um, very scary movies. The last one is a very, very scary movie, so I'm going to give a little trigger warning to that. Um, but then what I want to ask you guys, for those of you that do watch it, would you like if I continued to come over here every week and announce some movie? I can do, it, it doesn't matter to me. I can do whatever is easier. Um, but what I'm kind of thinking about maybe doing is moving it to once a month, like the first week of November, the first Friday, um, coming, or someday that week the first week of November coming out and announcing all the movies for November. And then the last week of November doing a, a longer video where I would do a reaction to all four movies of November. That way you guys could watch them when you want to. You don't, if you have a one week where you're like away or whatever, but just let me know what you want me to do in the comment section below. And I'll kind of go with what the majority response to this. Like if you guys want me to keep on doing it every week, I can do that. Um, if you guys want me to do just like once a month and announce them, I kind of said that earlier, I was going to do that where I was going to put in the description box. So if I did do that, I would do the video and then in the description box, I would say like, these are the movies for November that we're watching. Um, so let me, cause I do plan them out kind of a month in advance. I, before I was planning them out like three months in advance, but I changed some things and some of the movies left and all that. So, um, so let me know if that would be easier for you. Okay, so that brings me to what are the movies? What are the movies for the rest of October? Okay, so there are a lot of like scary horror movies that are on Tubi. And so I literally went through all of the horror movies, all the thrillers, and anyone that kind of like pulled at my heartstrings a little bit that like at some point in my life like had some kind of meaning to me or, I mean, with horror movies, it's kind of different, but like reminded me of Halloween or reminded me of like I would watch it. Like how I love horror movies movies and I love scary movies. So a lot of these movies are kind of like, I know this is going to sound strange, but like comfort movies to me. Like the original Halloween, which I would have picked, but it's not over on Tubi. The original Halloween is a movie that I would like put on in the TV while I was like cleaning the house and doing work. Right? It's a comfort movie to me, you know, like I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of these movies are comfort movies to me. And even if they're horror movies or they're thrillers, so last week I picked Still of the Night, which is a thriller. Um, the week before I picked The Lady in White, which is a Halloween mystery thriller. And so I wanted to pick two horror movies to end the Halloween month on. Halloween is my favorite holiday of life. Um, I love Halloween. And so I wanted to do two movies that for me are kind of like mainstays in Halloween. So I was kind of looking through and I was like, okay, are there not going to be any horror movies on here that are like that? Because a lot of them are like really cheesy. I actually was going to pick... Um, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. But I think last year, it was either last year or the year before, but I think it was last year, I watched it for the very first time. I think I even did a video responding to it. And I had never seen the Elvira movies before. And I, I loved it. If you've never, it's not really a Halloween movie though so much. It's very just campy. If you've never seen the original Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, it is, I think it is on Tubi. Um, I would highly recommend it. It is a fun watch. Um, it's funny because, you know, you think of, like, Elvira and how she looks and all that kind of stuff, and you wouldn't think that she's family-friendly, but, like, her, her the movies are, are rather family-friendly, kind of. I mean, they're, they're so cheesy, you can't, they can't not be. Um, but I love that movie so much. I think the rest of this month, I am going to try to watch the other Elvira movies, because I haven't watched them. So, I was going to pick the Elvira movie, and then there was a couple other movies I was going to pick, but I thought, no, just go with, like, movies that you've seen a bunch of times. Now, both of the movies that I picked for uh, the, the rest of the Halloween month, the last two movies that I picked are both I've probably seen them, like, either have them on in the background while I'm doing other stuff, or, like, it's specifically just sat down and watched. Both of them, I have probably watched... Oh, I don't even know. I've probably watched them both. I mean, at least 30, 30 to 40 times in my life. I've probably, you know, seen both of them. So, and, and, and that is not an exaggeration at all. Like, I own both of them on VCR. I own both of them on DVR. <laughs> you know, I think I have uh, one of them. I, I, I know that I own, because I own this the director's entire collection, um, on, like my, like, my iTunes library and stuff like that. And the other one, I mean, you can find it anywhere. So, let's get to... And both of these movies, you can probably find on other streaming apps this month as well. Okay, so let's get to the movies for this for the rest of this month. Are you excited? Okay, so since I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be doing another reaction to this, I might do one. I'm, this might be my Halloween. No, because that will be my weight loss journey video. Um, well, on November 1st, which I'll be ready, then I'll be ready for Christmas. I'll be ready for Christmas on November 1st. Well, maybe on Wednesday, sometime that last week, maybe I'll do a reaction to these movies. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Or maybe I'll do two on that, that uh, Thursday on Halloween and maybe my reaction 
connection will be to the spooky movies. So, um, okay, so the first, so these are the last two movies for the rest of October. Watch them in whatever order you want. I will tell you that if you wait until the days before Halloween, it will make it much, much spookier. Um, I think that the first movie that I'm going to pick for you, or the first movie that I, I'm going to, the first movie that I picked, I ha it's, it's going to sound really strange, is scarier for me to watch during the day than it is at night. The second movie terrifies me whenever I watch it. Okay, and it still scares me to death to this day. Um... So the first movie that I picked, are you guys ready? Hold on a second. I have it queued up right here, is Children of the Corn, the Stephen King book adapted into a movie. So let's get into it right here. Um, the movie came out in 1984, so I was 12 years old. It is an hour and 32 minutes. It's considered a horror thriller. And it says, a young couple find themselves stranded in a rural Nebraska town where they encounter a mysterious religious sect of children and no adults in sight. Okay, so I'm just going to give you kind of like a quick synopsis of what happens in this movie. Um, and I will say there is some gore and there, there is some violence and things like that. But what happens is the, mu the music in this movie is so eerie. Now, I will tell you, if you make it to the end of the movie, the movie gets kind of weird, okay? It gets kind of like... Uh, paranormal weird, a little bit. Um, but the movie is about, if you guys have ever watched it before, do you remember Isaac? Okay, so the movie's about this couple, and they're, like, on this road trip. I think they're moving or something like that. And they keep on trying to, like, find the main road, and they keep on going through these, like, cornfields. And so the guy pulls over, and then there's, like, this kid that's, like, running out of the cornfields. And I think they hit him or something like that. And so they, like, she's, like, going through his stuff and whatever. And so they're trying to, like, go to this small town, to try to go to this town to try to find out, like, where he's from and whatever to notify somebody. And they go into this town, and, like, the town is dead. <laughs> like, it's like there's nobody there. They find this farmhouse with this little girl. And so what's happened is that all the adults have been killed. And that's the premise for the show. You don't really know why they've been killed. You find that out very quickly. And so there's, like, this guy, and he's, like, in charge of the town, this kid that's, like, well, he's not, like, five. I mean, he's, like, in high school. But he's, oh, it's, it's starting. Okay. Um... But he's got, like, he's got little kids working for him and stuff like that. Um, it's a scary movie. And that's the movie that I can watch. I mean, I could turn the movie on during the middle of the day, and I would be, like, terrified watching it. I think it's actually scarier to watch during the middle of the day, because the majority of the movie takes place during the middle of the day. Um, and like I said, I, I do want to give a trigger warning. It is very gory. It is very bloody. I'm, like, thinking of a scene in my head right now when the two little kids are telling them uh, what happened to everybody in town. And they're, like, in the diner eating ice cream after church or something like that. And it's, yeah. So there's a lot of gore and a lot of, like, bloody violence in this movie. So if that's something that you have an issue with, this is probably not the movie for you. Okay? So that's the first movie. Now, if you think that movie is gory, the second movie is even gorier. And it is one of my um, favorite movies of life. And that movie came out in 2003. It is an hour and 28 minutes. Does anybody want to guess what it is? It is by Rob Zombie. His wife is in the movie, and it is House of a Thousand Corpses. Okay. Now, I just have to tell you, I, like, I can remember this movie coming out, and I can remember seeing it in the movie theater, and I can remember being like, what the hell am I watching? Like, this is equal parts. I think it was Rob Zombie's very first movie. I can remember thinking, this is equal parts, like, and I think that's why I went and saw it. Um, my old roommate, Back in the day, she was obsessed with Rob Zombie and White Zombie. And I think that I think that's why we may have gone and seen that together. Anyway, I can remember being, like, terrified. No, I don't think I did see it with her. No, because we weren't living together by that point. Um, but I, that was kind of, I think, the reason why I went and saw it. Because I knew that, like, Rob Zombie had directed it. And I was like, okay, what is this? And I'd seen, like, the previews for it. And the previews were done, like, very kind of, like, old-fashioned, like, true crime. Because the movie takes place in the 70s. Um, I have never been so terrified since the Terrifier movies came out. I will say this. I have never been so initially terrified and also, like, just, like, enamored with how a movie has been done since House of a Thousand Corpses. I think it's beautiful film work, but at the same time, horrifyingly, it's, it's so scary. And there's things that, like, I was, like, didn't even expect and people that I didn't expect and things like that. So let me tell you what this movie is about. Um, it came out, like I said, in 2003. It's an hour and 29 minutes long. It's considered horror crime. And uh, when searching the backwoods of Texas for urban legends of serial killers, two teenage couples end up the prisoners of a family of killers. And it was directed by Rob Zombie. It has Sid Haig, Sid Haig in it. Um, Sherry Moon and uh, Karen Black is like, she plays like the mother in it. She's fantastic if you remember Karen Black from the 70s. And um, 
There are also sequels to this, like The Devil's Rejects, which I actually don't think is as well done, and Three from Hell. And um, I, I, Devil's Rejects I don't love, but Three from Hell I thought was fantastically done. I, I have to tell you, I am a pretty big Rob Zombie fan. I love a lot of his movies. I don't necessarily love the Halloween franchise that he did and how he turned that into his own, but I don't dislike it either. I will say, it doesn't to me, it doesn't hold up to the campiness of the original because it's very serious um, and very scary, but I don't think there's a... I mean, that's a whole other conversation, the Halloween franchise franchise. Um, I watched all the movies last year. I'd seen them all before, but I watched them all in order. Um, I think they're well done. I just, they're not my favorites. Like, they don't, I, they're completely different than the original Halloween franchise, but I love Rob Zombie as a director. Um, Sherry Moon, his wife, I love watching her in anything. She's fantastic. If you've never seen the movie before and you can handle gore and violence, it's very scary. It's very scary. These kids are kidnapped. They're teenagers. They stop at this truck stop that has like this, and Sid Haig, Sid Haig is like in charge of a uh, this, like, truck stop, like, horror thing, and they have, um, like, you can go into this truck stop, and there's, like, a, a museum of horror in there, and so they go in there, and anyway, and then they get kidnapped and taken to, anyway, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but it is so fantastic, it is so well done, so anyway, so the movies for the rest of Halloween, spooky Halloween, the movies for the rest of the Halloween month are Children of the Corn and House of a Thousand Corpses, and both of them are available on Tubi. So anyway, let me know if you're going to watch the movies with me in the comment section below. Watch them whenever you want over the next two weeks. They are very, very good. I mean, Children of the Corn is not specifically about Halloween, but I do think House of a Thousand Corpses, I'm almost positive, takes place on Halloween night. Did it just say that? I don't know. But I'm almost positive it takes place. Did it even say that in there? Hold on a second. I got out of it. Um, it says on here. No, but it does. It takes place on Halloween night. So anyway, and also let me know what you want me to do going forward. If you want me to do one a movie announcing the movies, or one video announcing the movies, and one video um, reacting to the movies, or if you want me to continue to do it every week. And I will just kind of, majority, majority rules, and I will follow whatever you guys say in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.